Hi, right, welcome back to my week two of the Girls Soccer Power Rankings. My name is Josh McWilliams with the Daily Record. Before we delve into the top five, let's talk about a few of the players who've had great starts to their season. One, the junior from Smithville, Jillian Newland. Wow. The offensive dynamo, no surprise here, no shocker at all. She continues to light up the nets, 10 goals, 2 assists, currently with 22 points. She's second in the area in scoring. Leading the area in scoring, that freshman from Loudonville, Sydney Poland. Wow, what a great start to her high school career. Nine goals, five assists with 23 points. Also, the Wayndale Golden Bears currently being led by Michaela Wickens and Olivia Ford. Both young ladies have had nice starts to their season this year. Michaela Wickens, six goals and two assists. Olivia Ford, four goals, two assists. Heck, Wickens last night had another goal. Ford had another assist and a 3-1 to one win over Ripman. Great start, to, great start to the season, young ladies. At number one in your girls' soccer power rankings, your Norway Bobcats. There is no team in the Wayne County Athletic League that's had as much success against Chippewa as your Norway Bobcats over the years. Yes, Smithville dethrones uh, Chippewa in 2013 for the league title. The only time Chippewa has not won the league title. But in overall, in terms of success, your Norway Bobcats have had the best. Um, no surprise here. Norway Bobcats are your number one. And they picked off a huge win against Chippewa, 3-1. to one. They beat in Smithville, 2-1. to one. They beat in Manchester, Woodridge, SVSM. Start out the year 5-0. and oh. Outscored opponents 16-3 to three in, that, in that stretch. Posting two shutouts. Great play in the net by Chloe DePlaga. Incredible play in front, in front of her by Taylor DeMossimo and those defensive players. Like I said, and I still believe today, Taylor DeMossimo is the best defensive player in the area. If you go watch her play, like I said, you can see how she impacts the game. Um, it's a big part of the reason why Norway is able to be able to attack more aggressively when you have players like Taylor DeMossimo in the backside of your defense. A big part of also for Norway's success has been the development of Bryn Maurer. She's really just grown in terms of what she's able to do at the top. For Norway, she's really embraced the opportunity to, to be the lead scorer. She currently leads the team with seven goals, two assists. She scored some big goals and big games, and that's what you're looking for when you're looking for your elite players. Elite players score big when the lights are the brightest, and she's really done that. Also, Sarah Schmidt, uh, Sarah Schmidt has also played really well with three goals and three assists. Cassie Snyder's got two goals. This is a very fine-tuned machine over here at Norway. No surprise, they're at number one. Congratulations, ladies, on a heck of a start. At number two in the girls' soccer power rankings, I know they took a tough one last night to Crestview 2-0. When it comes down to it, I think the toughest team right up the spine are your Northwestern Huskies. Come on now. With Allie Candle, Sasha McConaughey, Bree Troyan, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty darn good middle of your lineup. Um, currently, the, your Northwestern Huskies are 5-1. Got a huge win over top the Wayne County League. Standard Bearers in Chippewa, 3-1. They've beaten Ripman, Mapleton, Waynedale. During that skid, during that run, I should say, not skid, um, Alec Candle's leading the way with five goals and three assists for 13 points. Sasha McConaughey's got four goals and three assists for 11 points. Mealy Rogers got five goals, one assist for 11 points. And your freshman, Florida Blake, two goals, five assists for nine points. If you're a young lady on this team that's an underclassman, take the opportunity to study the players like Alec Candle, like Sasha McConaughey. Learn from your seniors. These two young ladies are incredible people to to learn from, you got great opportunity to continue laying the foundation as you go forward in the future years in the Western Huskies. It's a very talented team, very well could be number one as well. Very, very good, which should be very interesting when they meet Norway. At number three in your girls' soccer power rankings, your Worcester Generals. When I look at Worcester and the key to their success to start this year, it all hinges around Gabby Mnostra. And in my personal opinion, it's about time. It's about time that she's been put in a position where she can impact the game offensively and defensively. This young lady is an incredible foot skills player. She's been one of the best foot skills players the past two years. Now she's finally being unleashed. She's given that opportunity. You can see she's playing very, 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 very well. Currently leads the team with six goals, two assists for 14 points. Another player playing extremely well, two for Worcester is Christy Franson, three goals and four assists for 10 points. Sydney Wright, fellow senior, has scored three goals for six points. Your Worcester Generals are playing extremely well, and that's the reason why they're number three in the Girls Soccer Power Rankings. At number four in the Girls Soccer Power Rankings, it's been a rough couple of weeks for your Chippewa Chips. Lost in Norway, 
lost to Northwestern. They did pick up some wins against Hillsdale and Central Christian. The one thing I tell people, and I'm telling the Chippewa Chips right now, it's not about how it's not about how you get knocked down. It's about how you respond to it. We're going to see the rest of the way out how this team responds. It's a very storied program. A uh, bunch of young ladies take extreme pride in what their program does on the field. I have no doubt this team's going to come back. This team's going to improve. This team's going to get better. So we're going to see what the finished product looks like. Um, definitely this is a team that will definitely, I know, will make some noise. Um, they're very talented. Um, currently, they're led in the year by senior Olivia Storrad with five goals for 10 points and Allie Henniger with three goals for six points. At number five in the girls' soccer power rankings, a team that's been playing phenomenally well of late. Underneath the guidance of Connor Lee, the team is currently 4-1, and one, your Highland Hawks. This is a team that has just started the year playing extremely well. They've had wins on top of Waynedale, Triway, Loudonville, and then even their nemesis in their district, Rosecrans. Nice start. They've been outscoring opponents 15-3 with two shutouts. Currently, they're led in the year by Gabby Schleyball. The young, talented striker currently has four goals and four assists for a total of 12 points. You also got Mia Gertz with three goals and four assists for 10 points. And then you even got Paige Gertz with three goals, currently with six points. 